Hi everyone, my name is Wes Mo, and I'm with, uh, with New York Cares. And today marks the 16th anniversary of 9-11. And today, all over the country, people are gathering, coming out together to celebrate uh, in a day of unity and to participate in charity and service throughout the country. Um, if you want to, right behind me, you'll see folks that are packing meals uh, for U.S. hunger. And if you want to get involved with any of these kind of volunteer activities, check out 911day.org. It's hard to believe, but after 16 years, there's nearly a quarter of all Americans are under the age of 21. And one thing that we want to think about is how will this next generation of Americans think about 9-11, and then how will they act and serve? So we're here with uh, a couple of really special and unique, uh, unique New, York, uh, New Yorkers, or Americans, um, who were actually born on September 11th, 2001. And there are uh, two of the more than 13,000 people who were born that day that remind us that not only, even though it was a day of tragedy, it was also a day of hope, and that the future in the next generation is the next one, next one to come. So I'm excited to talk to you guys. Uh, can you just introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Hilary O'Neill. Great, and? Uh, my name's Anish Shravaslava. Great. And uh, tell us what you would usually be doing on your birthday. Um, well, for the past few years, I've been volunteering. Um, but I don't know, I guess my normal birthday consists of like cake, presents, seeing my friends, all the usual stuff. And how do you talk to your friends about having a birthday on 9-11? Well, usually uh, they're like, oh, your birthday's on 9-11. And then I say that, you know, and then I just share the message, you know, that it's, it's really like, it can be seen as a day of hope as well. And that it, you know, it, the, day, the day's meaning can really change. And when you're in school, do your teachers talk much about 9-11? And, and what do they say? Um, I found that a lot of times it's mentioned very briefly because I think that it's a subject that teachers really don't know how to go about talking about it. They don't really know how to approach it. Right. And I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, even though it's difficult, it's important to talk about because like most of us were, had just been born or um, not born yet um, on 9-11. So it's something that I feel like was so important in our country, but we don't talk about it as much as we necessarily should. Um, I guess just because people don't really know how. Right. And Anish, what are you doing here today? Well, today I'm uh, volunteering to help pack meals. So. Great. You know how many meals we're going to pack today? Yeah, I heard like we're going to pack around uh, 600,000. So. Yeah, it's exciting. It's about 600,000 meals, many of which will stay here in New York, but some are going to go to other communities who have been affected by disaster, more recently in Texas and in South uh, and in Florida altogether. Um, so, just real quick, what do you think 9-11 means to you as a kid who was born on 9-11? Um, to me, 9-11 means, um, I don't know, I guess it's, I've sort of turned it into like, I don't know, I think a birth on that day, I've turned it into a symbol of hope and the fact of people coming together and unity and all of those things that can outshine the bad. And although it's so tragic, I think it's important to realize and recognize how many people have tried to prevail and rise above the uh, rise above the bad to do great things. Um, so I think that's the most important thing that I usually take away from it. And for Anish, what is the message that you have for for folks around 9/11? Well, the message I have uh, for people on 9/11 uh, is that you should always keep hope, even in times of darkness, because. Everyone goes through times in their lives when they're like, they, they, they feel that all hope is lost. But they need to remember that as long as they keep working towards their goals and dreams and uh, standing back up in the face of any kind of adversity, really, uh, that they can, you know, make it and they can achieve what they want. Yeah, oh, that's great. I was here earlier and they had you up on stage uh, and everybody was singing happy birthday to you. How did that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy to see, like, so many people. Um, I never know how to react, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> how to make you feel. It was definitely a very, like, great experience, and, you know, I really enjoyed it. And I'm really enjoying packing meals for everyone as well. Great. Well, that's us. Thank you very much to Hillary and Anish for coming out and celebrating their birthday 
with us uh, and every year. And, you know, these are the kids that they really do remind us that, um, you know, you guys are really the future. And, you know, for, for the amount of hope that you have and the positivity that you have, I know that that will spread to your friends, to your family, the greater community. And that's really what we want 9-11 to, to be about. So if you want to join us on uh, today's, uh, today's festivities, you can do so in your own community. Go to 911day.org and you can find us on social media at hashtag 911day. Thank you very much, everyone.